We begin the gram staining procedure by taking a clean microscope slide and an inoculating loop and a bottle of deionized water. We'll spray the water through the loop until a single droplet is trapped. Then we'll place that single droplet onto the surface of the slide. We then place our inoculating loop into the incinerator to sterilize it. Once it reaches the appropriate temperature and is glowing orange, we remove it. Before coming into contact with the cells, we must first cool the loop by touching a blank piece of auger. We can then come into contact with the cells once the loop is cool, and after we've picked our cells, we'll spread them and disperse them in the droplet of water. We'll sterilize our loop once more in the incinerator, and then we can set it aside on the bench top as we're now done with it. We will now grip the edge of the slide using a clothespin and pass the slide over the top of the incinerator so that we can heat fix the cells to the surface of the slide. Once the liquid has evaporated and the cells are heat fixed, we're now ready to begin the gram staining procedure. The first stain we add to the slide is crystal violet. We'll cover the surface where the bacteria cells are and then allow the slide to incubate at room temperature for one minute. At the end of the one minute, we'll tilt the slide and gently rinse off the crystal violet with water. We will continue to rinse until the water runs clean. Once we've rinsed off all of the crystal violet, we then add Graham's iodine to the surface of the slide. Once we've fully covered the sample, we'll let the slide incubate at room temperature for one minute. At the end of the incubation period, we will then rinse the slide with decolorizer, which is ethyl alcohol. We'll do this until the ethyl alcohol runs clean, and then we'll immediately treat the surface of the slide with water. For the final step, we'll add counter stain, called safranin, to the surface of the slide. We once again cover the entire sample with safranin and allow it to incubate at room temperature for one to two minutes. At the end of the incubation period, we'll rinse off the safranin using deionized water. And once we've fully rinsed off the safranin, we'll then place the slide into a booklet of bibulous paper and gently pat it to dry it. Once the slide is fully dry, we're then ready to view the sample under the microscope using oil immersion.